Namaste everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we're going to be working, uh, this class today is called Trico Flow. So Trico um, means triangle in Sanskrit. So today's class is going to be all kind of about triangle shapes and how triangle shapes can kind of progressively build towards different triangular shapes and how they all kind of work together to help each other out. So Trico Flow is the name of class today. And just before we start practicing, um, the philosophical theme that I wanted to talk about today is known as Eka Graha. And Eka Graha translates as kind of like this one pointed focus. I call it the um, art of unitasking. And often in our culture, we're so concerned about multitasking, like how much can I do and how quickly can I do it? And can I do it all at once? And this is a practice of can I do one thing at a time and can I be completely focused? And if you're like me, I'm kind of like, ooh, a shiny thing person. So this is a really, uh, it's, I found it a really helpful practice in my life to be like, oh, can I focus on one thing at a time? And when we do that, it totally calms the mind down. And I think especially during this time, if you're a bit like me and you know, you're seeing stuff on the TV or on your phone or you're kind of stuck inside and there's shiny things everywhere, it can be a really important practice to just be like, oh, can I focus on one thing? Can I just read this one book instead of 10 books at once? I'm still working on it. Um, so in our own practice today, when you're practicing, can you try to focus on one thing at a time? Can you focus your mind on your breath? When I give the instruction, can you focus on pressing down through the back foot? And like I said, this class today is called vinyasa. So it means that we're working progressively towards certain peaks. It's gonna be a slow, steady, strong class. And we'll leave the dynamic, more rhythmic, faster movements for tomorrow's practice, which is called intenso and will be to music, but the music's optional. You don't have to do it with music. You can just do it to my sweet lovely voice. Let's start doing yoga. Uh, please come down to your mat <clears throat> and please lie down onto your back. And once you're lying on your back, please bend both of your knees. So both feet are flat on the ground. Hands are down beside your hips. Just take a moment to close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And a full breath out. And see if just here you can begin to cultivate that ekagraha, that ability to just focus your mind on one thing, your breath. Take one more deep inhale. And a full exhale. And blink your eyes open, can keep that breath going. Bring your right knee towards your face without grabbing it. Keep your hands on the ground. Don't touch yourself, just the floor. <laughs> right, can you bring your right knee towards your face and now lengthen your right leg up towards the sky. So your right leg's going straight up to the ceiling. Good, now if you have really tight hamstrings, like the back of your legs are tight, I'm gonna recommend you stay here. If it feels okay in your body, you're gonna lengthen your left leg straight forward along the ground. Mm -hmm. And if your right leg is already like burning like no tomorrow because your legs are a bit tighter, just re-bend the left knee, keep it on the ground, or just keep your right knee more bent. That's totally fine. Okay. Interlace both hands behind your head. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, lift your head and shoulders up off the ground. Wrap your forearms so they hug the sides of your skull and try to get your shoulder blades up, up, up off the ground. Can you bring your right foot a little closer towards your face? So today for Trico Flow, we're gonna be working with our adductor strength and our adductor flexibility. Basically our inner thighs and the back medial portion of the leg. So our inner thighs and kind of our inner hamstrings. So I want you to squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. So your right leg, Squeeze a little more to the left leg. Can you keep that right leg up to the sky? Get your shoulder blades off the ground, left up. So when we're working with triangle poses, our adductors and our inner hamstrings need to be strong and open. They need both qualities. Take one more deep inhale. 
on your exhale can get your shoulder blades off the ground a little bit more lift your chest higher good and then release right foot comes down left leg goes straight up so we're coming right into the other side <sighs> option to lengthen your right leg straight forward along the ground interlace your hands behind your head wrap the forearms around the sides of the skull lift your head and shoulders up off the ground try to get your shoulder blades up 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 good squeeze your inner thighs towards each other so your left leg can you move it a little closer to your right leg maybe even so it overcrosses the body just a little bit like a couple of inches so we're working that adductor strength your inner thighs are hugging towards each other to the midline of your mat scoop your low belly and come on get those shoulder blades up off the floor get your head away from the ground can you lift yourself up a little bit higher keep both legs straight if you can stay for the full exhale good and then slowly release nice right leg goes right up towards the sky left leg towards the front of the room but this time hover your left heel off the ground lift your head and shoulders off the ground good. imagine as if there was a piece of paper between your legs hug your legs into that imaginary piece of paper so your legs hug the midline get the shoulder blades off the ground get your head off the ground you can do this get your chest up shoulder blades up keep hovering that left leg hold for three hold for two hold for one good and release right foot down the dishwasher is done left leg up right leg forward here we go other side head and shoulders off the ground lift your right leg so it's one inch off the floor hover the legs squeeze your inner thighs towards the midline get the head and shoulders up 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 lift your chest hold for three get the shoulder blades higher hold for two scoop the lower belly in hold for one good and then release hi please roll over onto your right hand side or make sure you can kind of see the camera come on to your right forearm so you're kind of like in a modified side plank bend your right knee so your right foot is kind of straight back behind you place your left hand up to the sky and place your left hand just down onto the floor in front of your torso now push down into your right knee and lift your pelvis off the ground so you're in a side plank a modified forearm side plank so your right knee's on the ground, right forearm's on the ground. Now lower your right hip so it's just one inch off the floor. And then push back up. Lower your right hip so it's just one inch off the floor. And then push back up. And then keep going like that at your own pace. So I know this is probably not like air quotes classical yoga, but for strong trico poses, triangle poses, it's really important to have strong obliques. As you lift your pelvis away from the ground, Keep drawing your front lower ribs in and keep squeezing your glutes. We'll do five more, lowering down, then back up, down, back up, three more, up, down. Try to move the pelvis a lot so the pelvis comes just one millimeter off the ground and it goes way high to the sky. Two more, one millimeter, way high to the sky, one millimeter off the ground, way high to the sky. Good. And then butt comes down, nothing fancy, other side. Um, I just really love doing kind of like these isolated muscular contractions before going into a flow class. It helps me connect with different regions of my body. It's like waking up and saying hello to certain body parts. Right hand comes down to the ground just in front of your torso. Push down into your left knee, lift the pelvis up. Lower the pelvis one millimeter off the ground. Push it back up. Lower the pelvis one millimeter. Push it back up. Now notice if you're turning it into a back bend, can you pull your front lower ribs in as you do this? So your front core is engaged. And at the same time, can you squeeze your glutes? So you're not sticking the butt back, the pelvis stays forward. Five more. As you lower, can you lower your pelvis so it's just one millimeter off the ground and then push it as high to the sky as you can, pushing down to that left elbow. Four. Three. Two, try not to let your right shoulder or your right hip roll back. Keep it stacked right over the top of your left elbow and your left hip. Last one. And then release. Well done. 
Uh, please come up onto your hands and knees. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. If you have a block, insert it between your legs at its medium width. Um, you know, if you don't have a block, put a block, put a block between, uh, sorry, put a book between your legs. If you don't have a book or a block, God bless, don't worry about it. You can do this without those things. Inhale, look forward, tilt your sit bones up, open your chest to the front. Exhale, push your hands and knees down, round through your back, gaze towards your belly button. Okay. Inhale, look forward, tilt the sit bones up, open your chest to the front. Exhale, push your hands and knees down, look towards your belly button and squeeze into the block with your legs, if you have it. Okay. Inhale, look forward, tilt the sit bones up, chest opens to the front. And exhale, push your hands and knees down, hug the legs into the block, dome through the back, so finding that adductor strength. Can you keep that adductor strength? Even as you inhale, look forward, tilt the sit bones up, keep hugging into the block. And then exhale, tuck your toes, press back, downward facing dog pose. Okay, so if you still have the block, can you keep hugging the legs into the block? Bend your right knee and let your left heel drop heavy. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Switch sides, bend your left knee, right heel drops heavy. Take a deep inhale. Full exhale. Straighten both legs, downward facing dog. Now if your block is at its medium width, your feet might be a little bit wider than normal, that's okay. Uh, but I want you to place your feet in a way where you can feel like you're hugging your legs into that block. And if you don't have a block between your legs, just imagine as if someone were between your legs and hug your legs into that imaginary person. Keep pushing the hands forward and down. Drive the tops of the thighs back and up. Keep your head between your arms. Take a steady breath into your body. Steady breath out. As you push the hands forward and down, it's okay for the shoulders to come up to your ears a little, but complement that by rolling the outer shoulders back, letting the top of your head release down, but keeping the skull right between the biceps. Take one more deep inhale into your body. Full exhale. Now please come forward to plank pose. Inhale, stack the shoulders over the wrist. Take a deep breath in. Can you draw the shoulders away from the ears? Shoot the center of your chest more forward. Push the floor away. Hug your legs into that block or that imaginary block or that dictionary. Take one more deep inhale. And exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Inhale, cobra pose, lift the chest. And exhale, take the hands straight back behind you. And inhale, can you lift the legs? If your block's a little too big, <laughs> maybe put it on a narrower width. After a while, I was like, ooh, my thighs. I roll the inner thighs up towards the sky. Can you lift the legs off the ground? Can you lift the block off the ground? Can you lift the chest? Everyone lift your arms, your legs, your chest. Everything lifts. Take one more deep inhale. Full exhale, hug into the block. Both hands come down towards the ground. And push back to all fours. You can get rid of your block if you have it. Come back to downward facing dog pose. Take a steady breath into your body. Full breath out. Okay, bend your knees, look forward, walk, walk, walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, reach the center of your chest forward. Exhale, fold forward. Okay, grab your block again if you have one. And again, insert it between your thighs. Again, I would go medium width just because it gives a bit more of a tactile experience. But if you have a very petite pelvis, then place your block at more of a narrow width. Place your fingertips on the ground like you're a spider. 
Bend your knees as much as you need to. Roll the inner thighs back. So it's almost like you're trying to send the block a little more behind you by finding a bit of internal rotation. It's subtle, so don't overdo it. Can you find a bit more length in your spine? And then exhale, can you fold and drape the torso over the legs a little bit more? Notice if you're leaning all the way forward into the balls of the feet, you can keep some weight back in the heels. Let your head totally drop. Take a deep inhale into your body. And a full exhale. Two more breaths, deep inhale. Full exhale. And one last deep breath in. Full breath out. Can you fold in just a little deeper? Hug the legs into that block. Lift the inner arches of the feet. Push all ten toes down. Remove the block. Inhale, halfway lift, get tall. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands all the way up towards the sky, reach nice and tall. Exhale, hands to your heart. Step your feet together if that feels better. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Take one big breath in and plank. Chaturanga, halfway to the ground. Upward dog or cobra, hug into that imaginary block. Downward facing dog pose, full exhale. Take a steady breath in. Steady breath out. Can you keep your eyes focused on one spot between your feet? Keep driving the tops of your thighs back and up. Take one more full inhale into your body. Exhale all your air. Bend your knees, look forward, step forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Inhale, both hands all the way up. So can you really focus your mind just on your breathing? Exhale, hands to your chest. Ekagraha, inhale, focus on the breath, arms up. Exhale, full. Inhale, halfway lift, chest forward, spine long. Exhale, step right back to plank, step to plank. Take a full breath in and plank. Get the chest forward, the spine long. Hug the thighs in. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward dog or cobra. Inhale, lift the thighs. Hug them in. Downward facing dog pose. Full exhale. Steady breath in. Steady breath out. Can you press firmly and conscientiously through the inner hands? The thumb and the index finger. Can you allow the heels to release to the floor, but at the same time lift the inner arches of the feet? Okay, one last deep inhale. Exhale all your air, bend your knees, step forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold in half, exhale. Hands up to the sky, big inhale, reach all the way up. Hands to your heart, exhale. One more Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, Akagraha, one focus, look up. Exhale, fold right over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, get long to the torso. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga, halfway to the ground, right away. Upward dog or cobra, lift the thighs, pull the chest forward, hug the midline. Exhale, downward facing dog pose. Right away, the eyes focus on one point between your feet. So you have that steady focus, the art of unitasking. Once the eyes are focused, can the mind softly ground itself in the feeling of your breath. 
slow, smooth breath in. Steady, slow breath out. Step your feet together. Come onto your tippy toes, lift your heels high. Think of a handstand, push the floor away, bend your knees, hop. Halfway lift or stay in handstand if you're in it. And then fold forward, feet to the ground. Inhale, both hands up to the sky. Big breath in, everyone. Exhale, hands to your chest. Surya Namaskar B, bend your knees, sit your bum, Utkatasana, inhale. Fold over your legs, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, get long. Think of a handstand, step or jump back. Upward dog or cobra, inhale. Downward dog pose, exhale, or you can stay in a handstand like me. Step your right foot forward between your hands. Left foot steps back. Warrior one pose. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, hands come back down to the ground. Step back, chaturanga. Upward dog or cobra. Downward facing dog pose, full exhale. Step your left foot forward. Warrior one pose. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands come back down to the ground. Step back, chaturanga, halfway to the ground. Upward dog or cobra. Downward facing dog pose, full exhale. Steady breath into your body. Steady breath out. Can you come back to that one pointed focus? Steady eyes. Steady breath. And right, step your feet together. Come onto your tippy toes, lift your heels. Get your bum nice and high, shoulders right over your wrists. Bend your knees, think of a handstand. Hop. Halfway lift on your inhale. Fold forward over your legs, exhale. Feet to the ground if you're in handstand. Both hands up to the sky as you bend your knees, Utkatasana, inhale. Exhale, hands to your chest, stand up. One more time. Bend your knees, Utkatasana. Fold over your legs, exhale. Think of a handstand, inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, maybe handstand or chaturanga. Oh, it's hard to talk and do it at the same time. Upward dog or cobra, inhale. Downward dog pose, full exhale. Step your right foot forward, warrior one pose. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, hands come right back down to the ground, chaturanga. Upward dog or cobra, inhale. Downward facing dog pose, exhale. Pivot the right foot, step your left foot forward. Inhale, both hands up, warrior one, one breath. Exhale, hands come right back down to the ground, chaturanga. Upward dog or cobra. Downward facing dog pose, full exhale. Take a steady breath into your body. Oh, steady breath out. Again, can you focus your eyes on one place? Keep pushing firmly and evenly through both hands. Let your head soften. Let your jaw relax. Hmm. You step your feet together. Um, and inhale, lift your right leg back and up towards the sky. Keep both hips facing down. And then squeeze your inner thighs towards the midline. So imagine as if you had a piece of paper between the legs or even a really, really skinny block and you're trying to squeeze your inner legs towards the midline of the body. So that right leg, this is a little more to the left, so you got your adductors working. Can you keep both hips facing down? Lift your right leg higher. Now pull your right knee in towards your face, round to the back. And pivot your left heel down, and now try to lift that right knee as far away from the ground as you can. So you're using your right adductors to lift your right knee away from the ground towards the left. And then reach your left hand up towards the sky. Can you squeeze your inner thighs towards each other? So it's strong adductor strength in the right leg and in the left leg to help support the body here. Can you lift your right inner thigh away from the ground, open your chest, reach the left arm up, take one more inhale. Exhale, left hand comes down, step your right foot forward. Spin your back heel flat, warrior two pose. 
Bend into your front knee. Look just off the tip of your right middle finger. Can you take a steady breath in? Steady breath out. And then can you find that one pointed focus? The eyes land on one spot. You go a little bit lower in the legs, the front lower ribs pull in. The eyes are steady. Shoulders relax, jaw relaxes. There's a depth to the legs, like you go into the fire. But there's a sereneness, this um, lifting up through the torso. And take one more deep inhale. Can you stay low in the legs? Both hands come to your hips. Straighten your front leg. Good. Turn your back foot in just a little bit more. So coming to our first triangle pose, yay. Let your back foot and your back left hip turn a little towards your front foot. So the pelvis angles in ever so slightly. It's not square to the wall to your side. Your pelvis turns a little to your front foot at the same angle as your back foot. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, let the top of the right thigh bone slide back. So you get really long through the right side of the torso. So this is where your oblique strength comes in. And those right adductors, which we engaged in that weird side plank, are now on stretch. So we've strengthened them, and now they get a moment to release, which is a real nice way to work a muscle. Take your right hand down to shin or ankle, or a block, or the floor, okay, and your left hand goes up towards the sky, trikonasana. And if you can, turn your head, turn your torso, turn everything to look up towards that left thumb. Can you glide the shoulder blades down the back? Turn the head to look up. And now notice if you're pushing more through one foot more than the other, can you ground down evenly through both feet? And as you push both feet down into the ground, can you find more length through the spine? Like the spine is growing forwards out of the pelvis. And then it's turning up towards the sky. Can you take one more full inhale? And then a complete exhale. And bend into your front knee. Inhale, reverse warrior two, reach all the way back. Take a full inhale, bend into the front knee. Reach that right arm back, turn the chest open, open, open. Exhale, cartwheel your hands all the way down towards the ground. Step back, plank pose, take a full breath in and plank. Chaturanga, upward dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Good. Please step your feet together. So for trikonasana, we need strong adductors and inner hamstrings. We also need flexible adductors and inner hamstrings. Inhale, left leg lifts up to the sky. Keep both hips facing down. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. So your left leg moves a little to the right. That's called hugging the midline, adduction. Now can you lift the left leg a little higher? Okay, exhale, curl the knee in towards your face. Good, now once the knee is towards your face, turn your right heel down. And now you're gonna bring your left knee a little more to the right so it feels a bit more like a twist. Keep both hands down. And now lift your left inner thigh towards the ceiling so you're turning on your left adductors and your left obliques. Reach your right arm up towards the sky, coming into side plank variation. Squeeze that left knee up to the ceiling. Try to stack your hips, push down to that left hand. So we're strengthening our obliques we're strengthening our adductors, which we need for a strong trikonasana. And soon we'll release those adductors. Can you squeeze your inner thighs closer together? Lift that left leg towards your right inner thigh. Keep the left knee bent. Lift the pelvis, lift the chest. Take one more inhale. Exhale, right hand comes down, left foot steps forward. Spin your back heel flat. Warrior two posts. Come all the way up. Bend into your left knee. Square your chest to the right. Look just off the tip of your left middle finger. Can you take a steady breath in? And a steady breath out. Ekagraha, one pointed focus. Boom. Can your mind and your eyes be completely unified 
and focused on one point. Let's take four more deep breaths. As you breathe, can you visualize, maybe even feel the rib cage, the torso expanding and releasing as you breathe? Two more breaths. Spread those arms wide. Keep that right arm behind you. One last breath. Good hands to your hips. Please straighten your front leg. You'll tilt your back foot in a little and turn it forward kind of like on a 30 degree angle. Let your back hip turn a little to your front foot. Inhale, spread your arms wide. Exhale, reach far forward. So the obliques need to support the torso here. Take your left hand down to shin, ankle or block. And your right hand goes right up towards the sky. Can you turn your chest open? As you turn your chest open towards your right thumb, can you push evenly and simultaneously down through both feet? So your back leg is just as awake as your front leg. The shoulders glide down the back. The chest is freeing towards the sky, spiraling up and open. Can you take three more profound breaths, keeping the eyes steady? keeping the mind-body unified for ekagraha, that one-pointed focus that you feel through the entire body. Take one more deep inhale, full exhale. Look down at the ground, bend into your front knee deeply, reversed warrior two, reach all the way back. Take a deep inhale into your body, turn the chest open, keep the bend in the front knee. Exhale, cartwheel your hands all the way down towards the ground. Step back, plank pose. Take a deep breath in and plank. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward dog or cobra pose, inhale. Downward facing dog pose, full exhale. Right away this time, step your feet together, inhale. Right leg lifts, hug the midline with the inner thighs. Use your adductors. Exhale, pull the knee in towards your face. Pivot the back heel, squeeze your inner thighs towards each other, reach the left arm up. Good, and then see if you can straighten your right leg. Can you lift it away from the ground? Can you get that right thigh parallel to the floor? Can you get your right foot more forward? Lift the pelvis, use your adductors to lift the pelvis away from the ground. Both hands down, step your right foot forward. Spin your back heel flat. Inhale, right into reverse warrior two, reach all the way back. Exhale, keep reaching back, straighten your front leg. Inhale, reach all the way forward, trikonasana, right hand to shin, ankle or block, left hand to the sky. Take a full breath in. Exhale, left hand to left hip, look down, bend into your right knee, shift forward and lift your left leg up to the sky, coming into half moon pose. Keep pushing down through the right hand to keep the chest lifted. Straighten the left leg, lift it up. Reach the left hand to the sky, turn your chest up. At the same time, draw the lower ribs in. Can you take four more breaths? Eyes are focused on one place. Three. Can you get the left leg even higher? Like, go for it. Why not? Two. Keep pushing through the right hand to teep, to, 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 to twist your chest open to the left. <laughs> Two more breaths, shoulders down the back. Can you smile maybe in the face of adversity or at least remain focused? One last breath, lift the left leg higher, ribs in. Good, exhale, both hands come down towards the ground, turn both hips to face the floor. Plant both palms, you're in standing splits. Option one, stay here, keep that left leg straight. Option two, palms are planted. Come on to your right tippy toes. You guessed it. Handstand. Up you go. Hold for three. Wherever you are, you can do it. Hold for two. Press the left leg up. One more breath in. Everyone step or jump back. Chaturanga. <laughs> up for dog or cobra. Okay, downward facing dog pose. If that didn't feel super graceful for you, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> the same for me too. I was like, I no longer know where my body is. 
because I'm so focused on trying to speak properly. Hey, here we go, other side, you got this. Left leg lifts up, hug the leg to the right. Exhale, pull the left knee in towards your face, round through the back. Pivot the back heel flat, right hand up to the sky, squeeze your inner thighs. Option to straighten your left leg, keep it off the ground, lift the chest, lift the pelvis, take a deep inhale. Can you lift the leg a little higher, bring the foot a little more forward. One more breath in, lift. Exhale, both hands down, step the foot forward. Spin the back heel flat. Inhale, reverse warrior two. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Inhale, reach far forward. Triangle pose. Take your left hand down to shin, block or floor, right hand to the sky. If you can, look up towards your right hand. Take a steady breath into the body. Full breath out. Take your right hand to your right hip. Bend into your left knee. Shift forward, lean forward, lift that right leg up towards the sky. Half moon pose. Can you straighten the right leg, including your right knee? Can you turn the chest open towards the sky? Lift that right leg up a little higher. Four more breaths. Can you breathe deeply? Three. And two, can you roll the chest open a little more? Lift your right leg up a little higher. And one last deep breath in, lift everything up. Twist your chest open. Oh, good job, exhale, both hands to the ground. Okay, option one, standing splits, turn both hips to face the floor. Lift the right leg high, keep it straight. Option to stay on your fingertips or plant your palms, kick up, handstand. Go for it. Try your best. Hold for three. Hold for two. Good. Take one more breath in. And then wherever you are, step or jump. Chaturanga. Upward dog or cobra. We'll all meet in downward facing dog pose. Take a deep breath in and downward dog. And a steady breath out. One more deep inhale. Exhale all your air. Bend your knees, look forward, step or jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift on your inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Hands all the way up towards the sky, deep inhale. Reach up, hands to your heart. So moving along with our trikonasanas, parivritta trikonasana, revolve triangle. Bend both of your knees. Let's step our right foot back first. Sorry, let's switch. Let's step our left foot back. Your right foot's forward. Having both of your hands on your hips, make sure your feet are staggered hip distance wide. Your back foot's turned a little to the front of your mat. Both hips can turn towards the front of the mat. Okay. Inhale, reach your left arm up. And then exhale, take your left hand down to the ground or a block. And lately, what's been working really nice for my body is putting the block in front of my right foot. Take your right thumb into your right hip crease. Wrap your fingers around the outer right hip and push the top of your right thigh back. Reach the center of your chest forward. Good. Now with that right thumb, keep pushing that right hip back as you lengthen the spine forward. And turn your chest open towards the right. So you're twisting the chest, twisting your chest to the right. And then maybe reach your right hand up to the sky. Revolve triangle pose. Can you take a steady breath in? Steady breath out. Four more breaths. Eka graha. Can you be totally focused? Pull the left shoulder blade down the back. Press down through the back foot. Lift the inner arches of both feet. Press all 10 toes into the ground so your feet are planting. Can you get your chest a little more forward? Can you turn the chest open a little more? One last breath in. And exhale, release down to the ground. Fold over your right leg, forehead to shin. Take a steady breath into your body. Steady breath out. And bend into your front knee. 
step your left foot forward, hands to your hips. Inhale, come all the way up. Bend both knees, step your right foot back. Angle your back foot in slightly. Feet are staggered hip width. Inhale, right arm comes up to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward and down. Okay. Right hand comes to ground or block. And lately I've been liking putting my right hand in front of the foot or block in front of the foot. Take your left thumb like you're giving yourself a thumbs up because you're doing so good. And put that thumb into your left hip crease. Wrap your fingers around the outer butt and then push the very top of your left thigh just back in space. Let the pelvis go back. Let the center of your chest reach a little more forward. Get long. Anchor through both feet. Push down through the right hand. Turn your chest towards the left. Good. And then maybe reach that left hand up towards the sky. Can you reach the center of your chest a little more forward? Can you turn the chest a little more open? And then can you breathe four more steady breaths? Eyes focused. Breath steady. Whole body alert and awake. Can you keep pushing down through the right hand to get that left arm higher? Can you glide the right shoulder blade down the back? Can you stay anchored through both feet? Take one more full inhale. Complete exhale. And slowly release both hands to the ground and fold over your left leg, forehead to shin. Keep weight in the back foot. Can you let your head release? Take a deep inhale. Full exhale. Good. Bend your front knee, step forward, forward, forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to your chest. And left hand on left hip, lift your right knee up. Give it a nice big squeeze. Option to stay here or grab the right big toe and inhale, lengthen the leg forward. Hold for five. Keep the chest lifted. Hold for four. And hold for three. Hold for two. Hold for one. Bring the right leg to the right. Can you notice how this pose almost mimics Trikonasana as well? Hold for three. Hold for two. Hold for one. Good. Can you keep the foot there and then spread your arms out to either side? Can you notice how this might mimic side plank pose with the leg lifted to the side? Keep your right leg up, hold for three. Keep the right leg up, hold for two. Keep the right leg up, hold for one. And then bring the leg forward and release. Other side, right hand on your right hip. Lift your left knee up. Option to stay there or catch your left big toe. Left leg goes forward, hold for five. Eyes are steady. Four, three, two, one. Open your left leg towards the left. Again, notice how it's very similar to triangle pose. For three, eyes are steady. Keep your right leg, your standing leg, strong and straight. Two, keep the chest lifted and proud, collarbones broad. One, and then spread your arms out to either side like your bird flying. Let go of the foot. Can you keep it that high? Hold for three. Try to straighten your leg towards the left. Hold for two. Chest lifts. One, leg comes forward and release. Well done. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Side plank, right arm goes to the sky. You guessed it, so, so same poses, all kind of those trico shapes, just in orientation, different orientations in space. Option to just stay in side plank, yay oblique work. Option two, lift that right leg as high as you can towards the sky. Option three, bend the right knee, catch the right big toe like you just did earlier, and see if you can begin to kick the foot up towards the sky. Hold for three. Hold for two. 
and hold for one. Good, back to side plank. Both hands on the ground, plank pose. You got this. Side plank on the other side. Left hand up. Option to just stay in side plank. You don't need to go any further. Option two, lift the left leg up. Option three, catch the left big toe and lengthen the left foot up towards the sky. Try to keep the chest open. Bring the chest through and up. For three, keep lifting the pelvis. For two. For one, good. Back to side plank, take a full breath in. Try to stay with it. Plank pose. Take a deep inhale in plank. Everyone all the way down to your belly. Wave. Reach both hands back, forehead on the ground. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, arms and legs lift. Look down across your cheeks so the back of your neck is long. Okay, take three more breaths. Each inhale, try to lift just a little bit higher. Two more breaths, chest lifts, arms, legs, lift. Just lift everything. <laughs> take one more breath, lift up. Good, and exhale, release. Turn your cheek to one side, left cheek on the ground. Relax. Turn your head the other way. Bend your knees, reach back, grab onto the tops of your feet. If that's too much, just stay with the previous variation. Kick your feet back, lift your chest, lift your feet up, lift everything up, hold for three. Hold for two, can you lift your thighs higher, lift your chest higher. And one last breath, lift everything up. You can do it. And exhale, release. Good job, please. Press to child's pose. Bum to your heels, let your head release. Hmm. Can you allow everything to soften? Let your back relax. Let your forehead and jaw relax. And please come onto your bum. Bring your feet out in front of you. Um, both feet out in front. Option one, take your right ankle on your left thigh. Bend your left knee and place your left foot on the ground. Press into your hands and lift your chest up. So coming into a bit of a hip opener. You can stay here or tuck the left foot back. Tuck your right foot back and come into Gomukhasana, cow face pose, or in Yin, they call it shoelace. Okay. So if that doesn't work for your hips, just keep your hands behind you. Keep your left foot on the ground. Stay more with a figure four shape. Otherwise, you can tuck both feet back, Gomukhasana, fold over your legs, let your head release. Hmm. Can you allow your whole body to relax? The jaw relaxes. The muscles in your face relax. Just allowing yourself to soften. Allowing yourself to be gentle. To let go. Hmm. We'll slowly switch sides. Place your left ankle on your right thigh. Bend your right knee. Right foot's on the ground. Let's all start here with figure four, hands behind you. Lift your chest up. For some of you, this will feel like a, more than enough of a stretch through the hip, so just stay here. Otherwise, you can take your right foot more to the left. Come forward, tuck the left foot back, and make your way into Gomukhasana. Slowly forward folding over the legs. Okay, and if that doesn't work for you, just stay with the figure four shape. Can you let your eyes close? Once the eyes are closed, can you let yourself soften? 
the shoulders relax. The muscles in between your eyebrows, your forehead totally relaxes. There's a softening, there's a gentleness. And if it's really hard for you to do that, you might have just gone a little too far into the stretch. So just ease out a little. Take one more deep inhale. And a full exhale. Beautiful, slowly come up. Okay. Please lie down onto your back. Hug both knees into your chest. And let your knees fall over to the right, coming into a supine twist. Can you let your shoulders relax, let your belly relax, let your legs relax? Maybe take a deep breath in, feel yourself breathe deeply. A oh, full breath out. Bring your legs back to center. Let them fall to the other side, over to the left. Can you take a deep inhale? And on your exhale, can you let everything just plop a little more? Your face relaxes. Your belly relaxes. And bring your legs back to center. Make your way into Shavasana, corpse pose. Giving your whole body a chance to just relax. Almost like you're lying in a big grass field. Just allowing yourself to have almost a little nap. Letting everything melt into the ground. Letting ekagraha consume the whole body. This one pointed, soft focus. I'll leave you here for today. So please feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. Thank you for joining this practice. Much love to you all. Namaste.